Good morning, Dazzling Diamonds. My name is Ren. My CID number is 297001. I am an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And this morning I have been asked to do a training on um, the use of our order downloads and how to upload them into Square or Shopify and use those systems for both inventory tracking and for a simple website. Um, I will caution you that um, if you're using Square, those two features would be free. If you are using Shopify, there is a, a fee to use their, um, their store. So keep that in mind. However, Shopify has a more designed look available to you. And it has uh, some additional features that you may want to utilize and therefore um, it would be worth the fee to you, uh, including the integration with Shopify and Facebook. So you can do um, Facebook selling using Shopify. We will not be touching upon that today because I myself have not learned that yet. So uh, I want to question also that this is not I am not a professional trainer on this, and this is not a complete training. In other words, I cannot teach you Excel if you've never worked on Excel. There just isn't enough time for that. Um, you will see some simple steps uh, done in Excel, but if you need additional help with Excel, then I would um, research it using some YouTube videos that are out there that are very, very um, well done and would be sufficient to learn the steps that we need to learn. Um, and the same thing with, as I'm doing these steps, I am doing them from a, a place of being familiar with the systems already. So if you, if you, it's gonna take you a little more time. I don't want you to feel like you're not getting it if when you do it for the first time, it just doesn't click automatic. It's just because you're not familiar with the systems. Um, and I can't, uh, naturally slow that down and make myself not familiar with the systems, right? So, but there's lots of YouTube videos out there, like I said, even some from paparazzi consultants. So please take advantage of those resources that are out there for you. So there's no one on the call right now, which I totally understand because it's Sunday morning and people are probably with families, going to church, um, doing their thing, um, sleeping in hopefully after staying up for LLP. And I hope everybody got their uh, pieces last night. So um, it's recording and we will, um, after the session, I will convert it because it has to do a conversion and then I will upload it to my YouTube and then share the link out to you guys. So you can catch this um, as a replay at any time. Please reach out to me for specific questions um, and you know maybe we can one-on-one -on -one meet if you would like. Okay, so here's uh, where we're going. I'm gonna share my screen. Hopefully it allows me to at this point. There we go. It uh, wasn't allowing me at first, so. Share that screen. All right, you can see my Facebook page where I had this event created. I'm trying to get this out of my way. Close that. All right, so where does so where do we start with this process? So um, paparazzi recently released the ability for us to uh, download our orders completely, including all the photos that um, come with that item. You've always been able to download just the photos, but now it downloads the um, SKU number, it downloads the description, the um, so all the details you're gonna need to add it as a, an inventory item in one of the two sites. So you go when you go into your profile and you click My Order History, I'm sure you guys know how to do this piece, but I'm just going through it. Then you click your order and then you slide down to the bottom of the order. Here's my LOP order from last night. You have two options. This zip file here is the file with just pictures. So in the past, we've always just used those pictures, uploaded them to your phones or you know to use for your Facebook posts, et cetera. Now what they ordered, uh, what they added was this feature here called order export CSV. 
And um, that is the file that we want to capture. So when you click on that file, it will download it to your computer. Um, and that is what you will use to um, upload into um, Square or Shopify. Now I've already downloaded, but if you were to download it, you would hit it. It would suddenly download and then you go into your computer and find your downloads. Now remember I'm on a Mac, so yours could be different. And this is the file I just um, downloaded, order 18737185. So you would click that, it would open up into Excel. Now, if your uh, computer isn't automatically set to open something up into Excel, you might get a warning like, uh, do you want to open this in Excel? Do you want to open this in numbers, which is uh, the generic uh, Apple version of Excel? And you tell it where you want to order, where you want to open it. I'm going to do it that now and close this out. So again, that's a technical step that you have to know for your own self on your own computer. And if you don't know it, Google it. <laughs> Google is your friend. Google, YouTube, those are my favorite go-to people. Uh, next piece of this. So you've downloaded your file. Now, how do you get it into your systems? Well, here's, here's what I recommend. First of all, let's go into Square's the first one, of course, it times out. So in Square, you would want to know what columns it uses so that you know which columns of information you need in order to upload a file. So what you can do is you can, you can create an item manually in Square. Let's say you go into create an item. So you've logged in, hold on, let me go. Let me slow down for just a second, discard changes. You've gone into your Square system, you go here, into this side item, uh, to this side um, menu, you hit items. That is kind of your inventory. But let's say you didn't have anything in Square. You're starting from scratch. You come here to create an item for the first time. And in here are fields that you will fill in. So you will fit, fill in the item name, uh, category. So you might have rings, you might have necklace. The description, and you can use the description paparazzi gives you, all right? So if you're doing it like manually, you can come into this item here, for instance, and you can copy and paste those descriptions. So here's the description for still glowing. I copy it and I paste it. This is how I, we were having to do these things before. Here's the name, copy it and paste it. Okay, SKU number. Now, SKU number, they're referring to this number here that paparazzi uses. Um, and you can go ahead and enter that SKU number. This is where I had to go from Square to Shopify. I was not using paparazzi SKU number. In my inventory, I have assigned each of my items an in-house SKU number or in-house uh, inventory number. And that is what I need in this um, column here. And that is why um, Shopify gives me the option to have both numbers. And I like that. And it, to me, it was worth the money just to be able to have those two numbers in the system. So anyways, then you would put things like your price for this item is $5. Um, stock, you would want to, um, make uh, start tracking. If you're gonna keep inventory in um, Square you would and you wanna track your inventory, you have to turn on that start tracking and you have to tell it how many of these items, oh, first of all, you you received stock and how many of those you received. So let's say you had five of that item. And then you have the option to say whether um, you want an alert when you're getting low on that item so maybe at one. So at one, it will send you an alert letting you know that you've only got one left. And the other thing you can do in here is add the picture of the item manually by clicking here 
add an image and you would go and pull the image that you have pre-saved on your computer. I'm sure I have an image of something paparazzi. <laughs> Let's say that was the, the image and you would bring it in and you would then hit, uh, there, I'm probably blocking the save, save. Save is up here in the corner. Hey, Melissa. All right, so that is how you would manually enter an item into Square. Now, that, if that was the only item in your library, you can now come into your library or your um, inventory and you could do a download or an export of that item by hitting here, export library. And you would export to um, Excel and hit the export button. And what that will create is the, the templated file you will use to add your paparazzi items into. So let me show you what I mean. I've already created in Excel. Um, this is, sorry, I have to keep moving the, um, this is the LOP order that I downloaded a little earlier. And this is my square. Okay, so this is, let's say a sample of what uh, of square and what item, what columns or um, they use. So they have this token file, you ignore that. That is for them what this item is in their system. So ignore this token file all the time. Do not change it, do not edit it, leave it as it is when you use a download from your square. Um, then you have the item name, you have a description, you have things like the SKU, the variation name. Now the variation name is like, you could have uh, this battle of the bombshells and see this one was red, but you could have it in multiple colors and create variations inside that one item. I choose to create a new item for each color, okay? The price, this whole option one, option two, I have no idea what those are. How many you have in stock. Uh, new quantity. So if you were on this file and you were just re, uh, restocking your inventory and you wanted to update your amounts, so let's say you currently had 10, but you just bought five more, you could um, add the amounts here and re-upload this into Square. That's a whole different topic for a whole different time. Uh, stock alert, whether you are, want that alert that I mentioned a little bit earlier. And that's it. That is what you can upload in Square. Notice there is no picture file. In Square, you have to manually enter all your pictures. So while you can grab the item name, description, and SKU number from your paparazzi download, you cannot grab your pictures that you have to do manually. And that again is one of the reasons why I switched to Shopify. So that is what you would have to enter if you were entering your, um, um, if you were gonna go now to add items. So let's say I wanna add my LOP order. I would go to that LOP example or file. First, I'm going to grab the title. So I'm gonna copy that column. I'm gonna go back to that original um, square file. I am going to paste the name of that item. Now you're gonna see some extra lines. Why is that? That is because in the file that we get from paparazzi, each of these lines represents one of the pictures that um, has been downloaded with the file. So paparazzi is giving us the pictures and paparazzi is giving us the necessary three views of that item but Square does not accept those. And we'll, I'll show you how to clean that up in a second. So then we go in and we copy the descriptions of our item from our original file. Where's our descriptions? Oh, right here, body. So in, um, in the file, 
the body, the, the um, column that is called body HTML, that is the description. So you copy that and you come back to your square file and you paste that there. So now you're gonna get a whole thick line because obviously it's accepting that, hold on, let me do it a different way. If you go and you paste special and you paste just values, it won't go crazy big. It'll just keep it a little bit smaller for you. And then the other thing that you would wanna grab for your Shopify column is your, skew hold on like i said always something technical happens keep source column with okay there we go and then you want to grab your skews from your lop example which are right here Copy. Square example. Paste. Okay. So now, obviously, you want to copy down your $5 price tag because you don't want to have to manu manually do that to each one. And if you wanted to add how many you purchased, remember, though, you have to do it on the line that has the SKU and the description. You don't wanna add, fill in these extra lines. So let's say you purchase five, you do want that stock alert and you want it at one, okay? So you wanna do that to all the items that you just uh, purchased. So now your file is ready to be upload, re-uploaded back into Square. Let me go into Square and I show you how to do that now. So you would now come back to the same screen where you had your where um, you add items right to your item library, and you, your action is going to now be to import before you export it. An example: Now you're going to import, and it's going to ask you if you're modify if you're going to add new items and update your existing ones. I, existing items will be will be revised, not deleted. So you know how, like I said, that you can change your inventory count and so on on the file rather than doing it one by one. So that would be modifying. Replace means you know you scratched your whole, you, you messed up your library. You it's it's it was messed up. You don't want to see it again. You've done a whole new file and you want to replace your whole entire library. That is that file. Always, always keep a backup of your library. Again, use Google or YouTube to learn how to do that. We want to modify. We just want to add the items that we created today. So hit modify and hit next. And then you're going to find that um, file in your computer. So it is in my downloads. Let me see. Uh, what do we call it? Square example. example. There it is. Okay, so the other thing is it's open on, on my Excel. So you, in order to be able to um, save it and close it, file, close. You can't have it open if you're going to upload it. So I just closed it. Go back to square. I mean, go back to, okay, so now you see the square example, and that is what I'm going to open or upload. I'm uploading square example, upload. And it's going to show you what items are falling in which uh, columns, and you just want to kind of make sure that it, it looks right. If you were suddenly seeing just the name here in the description, column, you would know that something had gone wrong and you would just need to tweak your um, your upload, okay? And then confirm. And it's gonna take a few seconds. And so right now, 
we should have that still glowing in here. So this is one of the items that we just downloaded. It's telling me I have five in stock. Uh, what's another one of the ones that we uploaded? Endless enchantment. Let's go into square. Endless. Okay. It might not have updated itself yet. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the, that still glowing was the one we manually entered. But basically, after you give it a few minutes just to make sure it, um, it has time to update itself, you would come in here and check for your items and make sure your download went well, okay? So that's how it works in Square. Again, the downfalls of Square is it doesn't bring up the picture. It also does not um, bring up multiple pictures, which is what you really want to do. Uh, so you would then, if you had uploaded, if this, I, if this item was showing, <laughs> let's go back out and see. If you had just uploaded Epic, let's say, you would then have to come in and, um, or Battle of the Bombshells, you would then have to come in here and add the picture because the picture would not be showing here, okay? So that's Square. And so for Shopify, you're doing the exact same things and they're very similar processes. So you've downloaded your file from Paparazzi and now you're gonna go into Shopify. You're gonna log into Shopify. You're gonna come into that first page and then you're going to go work on products. So where they were called items in um, square, they're called products here. And here you can do the exact same thing. If it's your first item, add an item manually so that you have a template when you download that item to export. Okay. So you hit the item, you hit export. It's going to ask, do you want to, um, in my case, it knows I have a lot more items. I want to I want to export just the selected item, just the one that you used as a template, and you want it into a CSV file for Excel and numbers, and you want to hit export products. Okay, and that's going to create a um, file the same, looks almost the same as the one that we got when we did the same thing with Square, but here's my Shopify one. And you will notice in Shopify, for each item, there are multiple lines, just like, I'll do that, just like there are in the paparazzi file, because it recognizes that those images. And I will show you where. If you go on in your Shopify file and you slide down all the way right here. This column is the location of that image, okay? So what you have to, when you copy and paste the um, order one, it's here as well, see that? So if I'm adding these items now into my Shopify, I have the multiple images available to upload along with all the descriptions and everything else. But again, you have to match up your columns. So they're called one thing in Paparazzi's file. So in Paparazzi's file, you have title, okay? In Shopify, copy that. In Shopify, it's called, Bring it back over. It's also called title, which is a great thing. Okay. It helps you kind of, you know, mirror. And I believe that paparazzi made their file to mirror the um, Shopify one most closely. Okay. But there's other items like option one, option one, option two, option two. So these things I don't think are in the paparazzi file. Let me just confirm. Let me just switch window. 
Yeah, see the, how there's no option one, option two, option. So here's where you got, you have to match up this information. You have to copy your lines, copy, bring them into your Shopify file. I would, I always kind of like leave some space between the last Shopify one and the next one, paste. Oh, if you paste special, and I think it's values with source formatting. No, let me just make sure you're doing the right one. Paste special. Values, there we go. If you do paste special values, you don't end up with the columns all big on you. All right, so this matches, the, the handle matches, the title matches, the body matches. So we're doing great so far. The vendor matches, the type of, uh, the type matches. And here's where it stops, right? From here and on end, it is not, um, it is not matching up. What does this deny mean? What does this manual mean? This is your inventory count, you know, no, this is your price. So here's where we have to kind of make the columns match. So what you do is from the one that's that that matched, you're going to now insert. And we want to insert one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns because you want it to, you want your skew number to end up here. So we are going to highlight and go one, two, three, four, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you go right mouse click, insert, and you're gonna shift your cells right. So now, and I know that just seems, if you're not good with Excel, that seems foreign, but that is what you need to do. Then, so now your SKU numbers lined up, right? Okay. The next thing you need to do is you need to get these denies and manuals lined up. So you go one, two, three. So you need one, two, three, insert, shift them right. Okay. So now your denies and manuals, your $5 price tag is lined up. Next. You need to get your images lined up. So you need one, two, three, four columns there, four rows over, insert, shift right. So now your images are lined up. And then these positions, image positions are lined up. That just means this is the first image that you're gonna see for that item, the second and third. So the rest is all set, I believe. The only thing you wanna add for your items is the price tag, okay? This is the cost to you. And you wanna add that, you wanna paste that into those line ones, into those item one columns. Okay, um, you can do that manually later on, but I just, if, if, as much information as I can put into the system now, the better. For instance, your actual number, Shopify, okay. Your, the number of pieces you have, you want to add in here. Let me see where that is. Fill my price. Variant inventory right here, right before the deny. So on these, let me see what they were. Let me see the order they're in. Got a glow and feline. So five, 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 25. Okay, so here's how many I did, all right? So of these items, I bought five of these, five of these, five of these. I bought 20 of these and I bought five of these. So there's your inventory. Now this file is, you want to take away the extra spaces there. Make sure you don't, oh. Those were the ones I, I added in just to give me a little room to work with. So now this file is pretty 
all set. You can just upload it into Shopify and you're good to go. These items will go into your system. The only other thing you may want to add um, at this time, which I, um, first of all, you want to publish them. So I want these to now be available to my customers. You might not, if you don't want them to, if you want to, you know, manually turn that on, that's fine. Uh, but this is how you turn it on so that as soon as you upload, it's now available in your Shopify store. The other thing is tags. So if you've tagged, so if you've created uh, tags for your page so that people can search by things like, I want to see things that are gold. I want to see things that are hammered. I want to see things that are mid-length. You can go ahead and add tags that are relate to these new items here if you want to do that. But when you first start, I wouldn't do it on this page. I would do it in the actual product uh, listing. So you've created your file, you've added everything you need, you have to save your file and close it because if you don't close it, it won't import in. Okay, so this is just the original one we got from Paparazzi. We can just minimize um, Excel now and come back into Shopify and now you are going to import. And then you find the file that you want to import. And it is Shopify example. Let's find it on this Mac. There we go. And we're going to open. It's going to say, do you want to um, do you want to overwrite any products, any current products that have the same handle? So if you were updating some of your other stock, yes, you would want to do that. I'm not going to do that right now. And then upload and continue. Shopify, what they do is they um, they will ask you again, make sure that your um, that your number that things look right, that that's a title, that's a you know, make sure that all looks right, and then you hit import import products. It sends, it, it says we're doing this, right? And then it sends you an email and says when it's completely done. Because again, it does take time to complete. It's not automatic. It's not like those items are instantly in there. But in this case, it's saying it's already imported. So let's take a, let's take a guess at glowing. Got a lot of glowing things here. What was that called? Still glowing, wasn't it? Still, not yet. Um, let's find another one of those. Enchanted, endless enchantment, endless. Endless enchantment. All right, so the products haven't loaded yet. Like I said, it sends you um, uh, a notification, an email that says, hey, your files are all set. So then if your files were all set, you can now go into Shopify and what you will see is what you see exactly what comes off of that file. You have the title, you have the description. And you mean, oh, you have this like little icon. So unfortunately, most of the items you upload, I'll say new. Almost every item you will find in your off in your um, inventory will say new because you just bought that at new, right? So you can go ahead and take that picture out if it doesn't apply. In this case, this was a fashion fix item. It will always apply. Um, let me find another one that so that we can cancel, uh, discard. Don't want to make any changes on that item. Uh, products. Let's pick something. Oh, I think I've already gone in and taken out all the little new things, signs there. But so you have the pictures that will upload. You have uh, the price that you want to make sure the price is in there. You want to make sure the cost is in there. And then here's where I say that I use a different SKU number. So in my inventory system, this is item number 226. That's item number 226. And I will show you guys in a second what I mean by that. And you, do, I want it tracking quantity and I have three in stock. I keep the original barcode from, um, from, the, uh, from paparazzi there. 
So that's what I like about it is that I can have a, a, a SKU number, the stock keeping unit number for me, but the barcode still exists in here. So for those of us who wanna use a scanner, it still can scan if we have the original packaging, this barcode. Um, you can also in, in Shopify add the weight of the item. How, why would that be um, useful? Well, let's say you um, were um, sh charging shipping based on the actual cost it, it is to ship this system, uh, this, this jewelry out to your customer. You can add the weight of each item and then know that that item is going to cost X number of dollars to ship. That's um, something there. And then you have here, this is your search engine listing preview. So this is, if someone were to search, if you have your Shopify store up and published, remember it does cost $29 a month to have a Shopify store. But, it, but one of the things is this um, listing is now available. So if someone searches Fifth Avenue Fleek, there's a chance that they'll find your listing and click on your item in Google. However, to get yourself up at the top of the page, because if you go search a, a Fifth Avenue Fleek Blue, um, you're gonna see 40, 50 consultants out there with Shopify stores first, unless you're paying Google to um, bring your listing up to the top. But there's a chance, right? So it's good that there's a chance out there. So if there were people on, I would ask if there's any questions. I um, don't uh, have anyone on. So what I'm gonna just do is go show you what it looks like in the store for each one after you get your items into these systems. So if I come back to Square and I hit um, my store online, oh, why am I online? And here is my go to square online. My store is, uh, wait, no, 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 no. Go back, sorry. Go back to my square dashboard. I'm not using the square store, so I don't know if it's still there, hold on. Apps, payroll, online, online, square for retail. I think it's gone because I don't use it. Square online site. Website. I don't use a website. I was using the Square store. Sorry, I should have poked around this before. I think they've changed this back screen a little bit. Um, do, 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 orders. Let me see if I go to edit the site. We used to have a store editor. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what, let me preview there. So this is what my website would have looked like if I was still managing it, which I don't. Shop all. And here would be my items. And you can see everything says low stock because those that items are actually entered into Square. So this is this is kind of like the rudimentary, basic, um, shop uh, you know Square store look. And I was starting to work it, and then I just I went to Shopify. So I apologize that you're not seeing a very good example but it is an example nonetheless. You see that your items are in there and you get one picture and one picture only. So in shop in Square, I was trying to find the picture I felt um, reflected the item best. So that's why you see somewhere I've got the item on the person and then somewhere the item is just out there by itself, okay? 
because you only had the option of one picture in Square. Now in, in uh, Shopify, same thing. I'm gonna come back to my menu. I'm gonna go to my online store and I'm gonna actually hit this little eyeball because that shows you what it looks like to my customers. And here is my store. It's got my, I, that's just an actual digital version of my business card. That's my header. Trying to keep my look consistent throughout anything that people use. And here is the featured album for my store is my convention pieces because I have so many of them. So I want them to um, move. So that's the front, my front facing page. And you see when I click into an item, you have multiple pictures available. So that is, and then it suggests if you that like that, you might like this, that kind of deal. And it has the um, description and everything as it comes from paparazzi. And you can buy with GPay or more payment options. It's gonna go in and, you know, if the customer is just poking around, it'll tell them everything that they can use to, um, uh, to check out with. Or of course, there's always credit card, debit card, et cetera. Um, you in Shopify, when you are here, there are themes that you can um, select for your page. There are free themes and there are paid themes. So each theme, each paid theme is like $150. I don't feel like I don't I feel like the free theme was enough. I picked a simple, clean, free theme for now um, until my business picks up. If it picks up, then maybe I can have a custom theme made, but I don't feel like that's really necessary. Um, and then if you if a customer places an order, you get an email notifying you that there's an order ready to be placed. But my biggest thing when in going to Shopify was in the products that having that SKU number that um, I can, that matches up to where that item is in my inventory. So for instance, this one is number 255. So I'm gonna shop, stop sharing my screen for a second so that I can um, show you what I mean about my, uh, let me see, stop. Okay, so now you guys should be seeing me again. All right. Stop the share. There we go. All right. So in my um, system, I have a baggy system and they go into these bins and it, I have one of those um, Calyx cube systems from Ikea cube shelves and each shelf fits two of these bins perfectly. And basically what I do is I put each item, I do not color code my inventory. I don't put necklaces in one bin, rings in another. I think that takes too much time to, to manage that. So what I do is I have a number system. So I bought these stickers on Amazon, 6066 is this number. And if I look up in Shopify, this item will be 6066 in Shopify. And then I have another roll of stickers and the stickers were super cheap. So I have the big white dots for the bag. And I have these little silver ones that I put on the back of my show one, right? So this is the one that I either hang up on my pegboard or that's in the bag when I do a live, right? So I do a live, I show this, and I know if, when, if they buy it, I know it's number 6066. I have to do two things. At the beginning of the live, before I do a live, I have to turn off 6066 on my online store. Because the last thing I wanna do is have someone buy 6066 while I'm sh uh, showing, and then all of a sudden I don't have enough because I sold out during the live. So you have to turn off 6066 and you would go ahead, you're gonna have, this will be easy to teach yourself how to do. You just basically um, unshow it. You go in to your item and you click that you don't want it seen on um, your website for that time frame. So it does require that you plan your lives out like that. 
Then you go 6066, 606, I should say. Keep going 66. Um, I show it. I like it. They want it. I put, I start grabbing them and putting them in customer's cart. I have the screen for Shopify open. And if I just sold three, I take three out of stock. And then this goes right back on the shelf in its, in its bin with 605 and 607, okay? That is how I manage my inventory. It does mean that I have, I, I think somewhere, I think I, I said it, I have somewhere in the lines of 5,000 different items. And um, I, I, I'm keeping them. And like I said, it's actually two of those 16 cube Calyx systems. So I think that's pretty, that's pretty good. And when I say individual items, I mean um, 5,000 different ones. It's just that some of them I have one of each, right? Which uh, I can manage still in Shopify where I couldn't manage that in, in um, Square. It was too hard to manage the one and dones. So in Square, I only ever added it if I had five items or more. If I didn't have five items or more, I didn't put it in Square at all. So that is my training. It's been about an hour. Um, I'm sure I'm not answering all your questions because you know, you're not here, but um, hopefully, hopefully um, it gives you enough to feel like comfortable making that decision on whether you want to go Square or Shopify. Reach out to me with any questions. And like I said, there's a million YouTube videos on this debate. So go and watch those. Just don't not do it because you're afraid of the technology. The technology is learnable. It's easy enough to learn. So take a chance. Um, start if you don't want to pay, invest in the Shopify fee. That's understood. Although Shopify does give you 30 days for free if you when you first sign up. So if you poke around Square and you kind of like it and you feel comfortable enough because it's free to try, um, free to use, I should say. And then you go, but maybe I want to try it with that, those three pictures, right? I want to be able to download those three pictures. I want to have those available to me. You can, you have 30 days to try Shopify. And it only took me one day to be 100% on board with it. So do your research. That's all I can advise you to do. And again, reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks again. Again, my name is Renata. I am Independent Consultant 297001. And I want to thank Melissa for allowing me to have um, to be the first of the guest leaders. And I encourage that if you, um, if Melissa has any spots, I encourage you to do it. It was a great uh, learning experience for me. Um, I do not have an active team, but hopefully I will soon. And I know um, this uh, training, this week of being a guest leader has been beneficial to me. So thank you all and have a good day.